You understand? Anyways, y'all, that's it, that's all. Dance and dance and the fire, fire. What it do? What it do? La, la, gang. What it do? What it do, what it do, la la gang. Happy Monday. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great. Blessed and stand productive. I'm doing good. I am doing great. Blessed and stand productive. Anyways, y'all, before we jump into today's reaction. Today's video is sponsored by Forology. I will be displaying and reviewing Forology in-home office computer desk with file cabinets and drawers that's able to be purchased on Amazon. Also, it comes in two different colors, white and rustic brown, for a great price and very easy to assemble. As you can see, I have Forology 61 inch desk with LED lights, power outlets, reversible computer desk with file cabinets, drawers, wow, gaming desk, and a writing table with monitor stands. And I have it in the white color. So if this is something that would be very useful for you or your family, please go to my description box, click that link, and it will tell you where you need to go. I just want to be somebody Outside trying to meet somebody Said we just wait too dumb and drunk yeah. I just say I'm 21 video just in case you did not catch my last upload there is the thumbnail go over and check it out anyways y'all I also want to say to the ones uh, in the comment just left me a few ideas on things to do or what to give I want to say thank you okay it was good and great idea so good and great I had to jot it I jotted it down and now I want to see how can I go forward with that in order to make that happen right, let's jump right on into these re this reaction video I will be touching a lot of videos today because yes yeah, shorts is out videos is out lives is up I will touch as much as I can and then I will hit the rest that whatever catches my attention on another day. But the first thing that I want to speak about is, okay, responding to the comments. She was responding to the comments, but responding to the comments, she is making shorts. And things that is dealing with her kids, y'all, I feel that it's a whole problem. I've seen a lot of y'all had things to say, and I feel like it's a problem too. I feel like it's a problem because how is it that you can come on here and you tell us, okay, watch what y'all say because my kids is watching. I mean, first of all, you should check your parenting, but that's something we know that you can't check because you just don't know how to parent in no type of fucking way, right? But coming on and basically asking your kids the question of, of what somebody in your comments have asked you, okay? This is not where grown-ass people is addressing the kids, okay? Because then that's where I say, as being a grown-ass adult, you should know better. Why would I address a kid when, when they can't help themselves? They can't help the way that they look. They can't help the way they are presented out here. It takes the head. It takes the one that doesn't oversee them. It takes the one that doesn't do their job correctly. It takes the one that put them out here like this. You understand? You're going to have your nails done, but your kid's hair was matted. What? Ashley, why your hair matted? Because I want to grow it out. He want to grow his hair out. So what's the problem? And my other two boys didn't get to cut it. Ask their daddy what. So the question was asked to her about her kid's hair being matted, okay? I don't care if you do have Aisha in the car. This is not a question to sit here and address. Address someone that is underage. You understand what is Aisha, 10, 11? I think he's like 10, right? 
uh, about his hair being matted. At the end, these kids already deal with enough at school. Okay, you can't tell me they not getting bullied. You can't tell me people not talking. You can't tell me people ain't talking about their hair. Like, hey, when you go, why you ain't getting a haircut? This and that. These kids go through enough, but to have their own head, okay, their own breeder to come and address them with the foolishness. I find a whole problem with that. At the end, if somebody is asking you why these kids' is hair is matted, here I go, not being in an adult place, but dropping my ass down to this childish place that I continue to be in each and every day because I don't know how to handle myself as being a mother or what I say, an adult. I am going to ask my 10-year-old, why is your hair matted? And he says because he don't want to get his hair cut. He's trying to grow his hair. I find that a whole problem. So the ones that come and say, Nika, take care of her kids. Are you sure? Because then that's where I say, mentally destroying your kids, that's a fucking problem. Okay? I don't care what nobody addressed me with. With my kids does not mean me as a parent take it to them. Okay? It's some things that you don't say. It's some things that you don't put on display. And you do not put your kids on the spot with some BS like that. I I, I call that it's, it's straight wrong and she know what she giving. You understand? If you can't handle the comments, then just stay out of them hoes. But starting to try to put your kids in the spotlight to answer questions right along with Leah. You want Leah to answer a question, but at the end of the day, she don't even understand, okay, what the hell she is reading. But then you come on and say, watch what y'all say uh, because my kids see this. Well, I think you should watch what you address to your kids and what questions you are asking them just to give feedback or better yet, wait for a fucking view. It's wrong, okay? It's not cool and it's not okay. And I don't think no kid is going to get on here on the short and speak what they going through of their breeder, okay? Because one thing she does is reward them. And they know if I don't speak what she has told me to say, okay, or rehearsed me to say, I ain't going to get a fucking reward. So take it as that. All she wanted y'all to hear was... Happy. Happy what? Allow her to finish answering the question since you put her in the spotlight like, like that, okay? If I know that I am being the best that I can be, okay, and I'm handling my job and everybody that's around me in the comments that I read is, is not equivalent, okay, to absolutely nothing that I'm actually giving, guess what? I look over that shit, I don't worry about it. But instead, when I know that I'm feeling some type of way, but I want everybody to fall on that same page, then that's where I start pulling my kids into this shit. And that's wrong. Anything about Maddie, okay? He's not the only one. You have several kids, and that should have been a question that you address to another adult as you should have. Not an adult that you read the comment out to address Aisha about his hair when at the end of the day you and fucking Hayward are responsible for how his hair look. Yes, he can get a taper. Yes, he can get a clean edge up. He can get all those things what you call a lineup. He can get that but y'all choose not to do that and use the excuse of he want to grow his hair out. Just because he want to grow his hair out, you can't make the shit look neat. I'm just saying, we gonna answer the shit right, answer it correctly. You answer the shit, okay? Don't take it to the kid and allow the kid to address that's just not cool. Okay, we back. We back in the dollar stores. We back in Dollar General. We back in Dollar Tree. We back at the laundromat. We back over uh, overfilling these washers. Okay, we got about three, I would say three bags of laundry. Okay, only using two washers, overstuffing the washers. But when it come down to dry the clothes, we using about three to four dryers then i say y'all how does that make sense trying to save a coin by not washing the clothes correctly that's what that tells everybody this is something that she continues to do but we are starting to see it even more just use two washers stuff it all in there but i would come back and say i have a whole lot of room 
at the top. It doesn't matter how much laundry detergent you put in there, them clothes is not washing properly. But when you break it down to put it in the dryer, you know you can't overstuff that shit like that because it's not going to dry. So then that's where you say it's the same thing with using a washer. If it's overstuffed, it's not going to spin and wash correctly as it should. So with the dryer to make sure my shit dry, I have to get more dryers. Makes no sense. So she says a lot of people, okay, a lot of people is talking about A Shea and Taquan. They ain't doing nothing. Pull them out at the house. So since Naya's out doing her thing, she's at work. She pulls Taquan out to record while she walk around and they go to Dollar Tree. They go to was it Dollar General if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so she pulled the boys out. Okay, y'all always talking about the boys ain't doing nothing, so I pulled them out. One thing I can say about her is she stay in her comments. She stay in her comments and she stay moving. She stay moving how everybody want her to move. And then that's where I say it's a it's a it's a form of doing what I'm not fucking doing, okay? Because if I'm confident in everything that I'm giving and doing, and I know as what y'all say of me is incorrect, as I just said before with the A Shea situation with the matted hair coming, you won't be giving what you're giving, okay? If you know your sons is uh, not in the house just doing absolutely nothing outside, starting trouble, want to show their guns, smoking things, you know, Taquan showing A Shea the wrong things and got him out here the wrong way, then you know what? You wouldn't have to drag your boys out and do all these things, okay? Not only a a trash dump, okay? Y'all seen that? They got trash in the vehicle and they going to go get food and eating ice cream and shit. You got trash in the car. How, na how nasty is that? It's very nasty because I know them fucking salmon cans. Them salmon cans in there and she talking about Naya said she want her to fix some more salmon with some bacon. Ooh, over rice. Okay, so now we got bacon and salmon and skin and bones over some rice. That, that, that The slop ain't slopping, okay? And then for the ones that actually do eat salmon, it's nothing wrong with it. Let me clear that up, okay? Because people do eat salmon. What is it called? Salmon croquettes, the little salmon cakes or whatever they call. Yeah, that's the proper way. But eating it like they just dumping it. I know that trash smell foul. I'm just saying right along with diapers, if she ever using diapers, because it looked like it looked like she ain't never putting Sasa on a diaper, okay? Want to show Sasa talking, okay? Ew. I mean, what is she speaking? Can we get Sa to say her name? Can we get her to say some numbers or starting some type of ABCs or something? Her saying, ew, on everything. That's, 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 that's illiterate on your part, okay? It, it comes for you what you're teaching her. You're not even teaching her uh, hold your fingers up, count. Yeah, you're not doing none of that, okay? It's just, it's hilarious, okay? And then at the end of the day, you actually think you're doing something with what you give it. See Papa, Papa out looking a whole hot ass mess. These kids still walking around in these bubble slides. Then I say, do uh, Papa not own a pair of just actual shoes? Probably not, okay? Because y'all see the clothes, what he put together. You know he don't have too much. And then you say, well, Nika is at fault because she is not pushing this young uh, boy into being a man and being, what is he, 19? Not doing none of those things, okay? Got A. Shea following right behind him. A. Shea pants. He's 10 years old, but pants is hanging right up under my butt, almost to my knees, and she see that this okay. Also, did y'all see A. Shea with the hoodie on? Why does he have a hoodie on, okay? Is it because the conversation, the conversation of his hair and his mom or his breeder being so dumb to bring up what is being discussed in the YouTube streets of the hair being matted to him. Does, does it make him just want to keep his hood on his head? Because at the end, 
I'm going I'm getting talked about because my breeder just let me know of what somebody said. Or she also brought it to me to say, well, I want you to answer this comment and won't you just say the reason why is because of this. Just pure ignorance on all levels. We talking about kids. Let's talk about Leah. Let's talk about taking the girls to McDonald's for cleaning up. Had to make the order. Hmm. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I'm going to talk about certain ports that caught my attention. First of all, you gave them $5, okay? $5. You gave them $5 to spend, $5 for cleaning up. But you say that you gave Aisha and Papa 10 but for the girls, you only gave them $5. $5. Pulling up at McDonald's again, don't know what the hell to order, don't have nothing, no organization, no worry. You can't even pull up and just order correctly, okay? You should have been asking them beforehand before you got there since you was in a rush at the window. Hey, y'all only got $5. You can get this or you can get that. But she can't do that because if y'all notice, she can't even read the screen, y'all. She's sitting there asking, uh, Kaya, what is the number four? Damn, ain't the ain't it display right here in front of your fucking face of the price and not only the price, but what a number four is, what this is. You asking Kaya, Kaya's sitting in the back seat. Illiteracy, okay? That's what you get here. Okay, McDouble, no pizza, no onion, pork, cotton, onion, barbecue sauce. Yeah, let me get another McDouble, no pickles, no onion. And then let me get a small fry, light on the salt, please. Okay. A large cup of ice and a large cup of water. And what? Come on, girls, what y'all getting? Okay. Uh, that looks like it's five. I mean, nine. No, you don't have nine. You got five. Let's go. Ma'am. Okay. You said one ice and one water. You got the cheeseburger meal with two cheeseburger fry and a drink. Oh. Does she want the cheeseburger meal too? The two cheeseburger meal with the fries the and number the, seven? Yeah, that, that, that. No pickles? Uh, um, no pickles? Okay. No. You want onions? No pickles or onions? Can I get a number seven? Yeah. No, you want pickles or you want, you want pickles or onions? Both. Pickles she, and onions. She said that's fine. Leave it the way it is and the drink will be a what? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to make What's the drink? Uh, uh, I'm not uh, sure. I'm going to make What's the drink? Hold on. How much that, how much that meal right there is? I can't total it out. So, no, I'm talking about the cheeseburger meal is how much? Eight dollars? Nine fifty eight after tax. No, take that off. Let her get the let her get a a, a, a double cheeseburger. I mean a mac double, no pickles, no onion. A small fry. What else you want here? You got yeah. You want two mac doubles? Give me another mac double, no pickles, no onion. Make that two of it for her. I said double four, mac double, no pickles. Yeah. Okay. And what else you want? No. A what? And she want a vanilla milkshake. Okay, small, medium, and large. Small, but vanilla. Kai, what you getting? I'm gonna do number four. What? Kai said she want a number four. I mean, well, I don't know why I tell you her name, but she want a number four. What's the number four? What's the number four, Kai? Oh. Kai, what's the number four? It's a four A. We got A B, A B C and D. Take a, you see it? Yeah. How much is the number four? Original. Oh, Kai, no man, might have to rent that. Sorry, up. sorry, these kids don't know what they want. Like eight dollars change. How do you only give them $5 to spend going to McDonald's and you can see that these kids really want to eat? They hungry as fuck trying to get a trying to get a meal and eat. But you know, with Nika, on the other hand, she feeds herself first, make sure she feeds herself good and everybody else behind her can get whatever is left over or I would call it less than. Also, let's jump back to the laundry video. You see that where she says she's supposed to have been taking Aisha and Papa out for lunch, okay? I guess they were on a lunch, or I would better yet call it a snack. Okay, going to Piggly Wiggly, ordering a five piece of chicken. Five pieces, they only get one piece, but you sit there and you get two pieces. It's a whole lot wrong with that situation. And then that's where I would go back to say, you see, she put herself here and the kid says, well, I give a little, give a little. Ain't no way. You should have been buying a fucking eight piece or something so everybody can at least get two pieces. And then if you want it 
a little extra, I guess. But for you to buy a five piece and you only give Papa a thigh and HJ a leg, what is that? Okay, it's not lunch and shit. Burley is a fucking snack. Just you know what, y'all. If I was at the window taking this order, I'd be very pissed. Okay, but. I guess, you know, trying to keep customer service good and straight. But every time she pull up, she it's, it's always a scramble, okay? Don't know what to order. Ain't making it make sense. Just running all over the place with ice and, and cup of no ice and, and, and small fry, light on the salt, pickles, no pickles, no onion, McDoubles. It's just, it's just crazy, okay? And what got me is she said only spending $5, but at the end, can you tell that you actually spent over $5, okay? You said no meal, but then you turn around and start ordering meals. You said no meal, only $5, but what you was ordering, thinking that it was cheaper, okay? What do y'all think about the clip, okay? The clip with uh, Nika talking to Leah. Y'all notice Leah really don't hear shit she's saying, but this is the same one that got on the short and said, yeah, we're happy, and then cut it off, okay? What was she going to say after Nika cut it off as happy? So then it's where you take, I want to shut everybody up so long as they hear happy, they know my kids is good and great. I call it bullshit, okay? I call it for what it is. I call exactly it as being bullshit as the same thing within this video where you turn to this girl and you said Leah's in the front seat and you start trying to tell her how beautiful she, how pretty she is and all those things. And it's how Leah side-eyed you and looked at you says a lot, okay? Maybe, maybe to you, since I'm putting on this fake and where a lot of people call her bipolar and I would agree because in my last video I was saying I think she has multiple personality disorders because we see where one person is fake as fuck, one person a lie and then feel like they covering the shit up with a lie. The next person it's just it's, it's, it's a whole lot of shit going on within her. So she leaned over to Leah it's telling Leah how pretty she is and uh, don't let nobody tell you different. And I tell you that all the time. I'm, I'm just not saying it for the camera. And then that's where I would go and say, okay, if this is something that you tell her all the time, she already knows that you are not just saying it because you are on, you are on camera. Because guess what? She hear you say it all the time. One thing about Nika, if y'all haven't caught on, she will always tell on her fucking self, okay? It, it's talking too much. It's your mouth moving and your brain ain't functioning with your mouth of what you're saying, of you always spilling it. You don't tell this girl this. This is something that you do in front of the camera. Something that you do in front of the camera so people won't ask questions or worry about Leah or say some of the things that they say for is how you treat her. As you also, and I know you read in my comments because it was so many people saying that they seen a disgusting video where you was calling Leah a B-I-T-C-H. I'm just saying, okay? And how disgusting that video was because you was mad. Then I will also say Leah has endured a lot of things, okay? So when you get on here and say, this is my worst one, her running her mouth and all these things, it's a lot of things that's taking place within her. It's a lot of things that she has been through mentally, okay? And so not saying just the background, but the things that take place with her own breeder as Nika. So that's why Nika would take her out of all the kids to get on here and say, well, we are happy. Okay, she can answer that question, but she really unsure what the people is asking because yet again, she's put in a position, a position that is not for a child, right? So now you have her here in the front seat at McDonald's and trying to this fake ass shit of saying, you know, I love you. This is something that you don't have to give on camera because this is what you give at home. Okay. But then I'm going to take it back and flip it and say, you know, she's always running her mouth, talking all that stuff. What you got to say now, nigga? What you got to say? What are you giving? Hello. I 
can't just stand it on the camera because I tell you all the time. Even though you have attitudes yeah. all the time. Hey, Hello? Why you be having Let's attitudes? Come here. Let's come here. Can, can you come here with my hand? You just gonna smoke? All that big game, you been talking. Talk now, nigga. You literally talking on the Huh? Huh? Oh, she ain't want to talk. Dora with no eyes. Thank you. You know, I love your hair. Sora with no eyes. So why you be acting up? Why not? I'm talking bad. You get tired. Oh, now you ain't got nothing to say in it. This girl right here. This is my this my hard head team right here. Okay, and and I'm watching how she just tuned you out. Okay, she tuned every word that you just said out. If she hear all the time that you love her, if she hear all the time how pretty she is, she would be very accepting of it. But she tuned you out, and not only did she tune you out, but she side eyed you. Like I was like, girl, whatever. Okay, this is what you're giving in front of the camera because behind the camera, y'all don't know what I go through. Okay, y'all don't know what this hellhole is like. <laughs> she ain't real on what she giving. Okay, so since she thinks she got her shade sunglasses on, we can't see, but we we already know this is a, this is a fake a fake situation. Okay, proving that <laughs> I love my kids. Oh, she is beautiful. She is pretty. Oh, okay. This is you now. But in the last video, okay, way before you said she looked like a bamboo, right? A bamboo, a bamboo, whatever it's called. Then you done called her B-I-T-C-H. You just did a lot of things to this girl, and she knows that. Okay, that's why with you speaking, she hears nothing. That's why she responds with Huh, okay. Then you will also say not even comfortable enough to have a conversation with you, okay? Or even comfortable enough to ask you for anything. Oh, oh, um, um, uh, oh. If if I get fries, you know, can I get honey mustard? That means right there, she ain't comfortable. And that was the same. Y'all remember when uh they had spaghettis or they fixed something at home and Kaya wanted more, right? They not comfortable enough to just approach you just regular to ask, okay? It's some um, um, uh, uh. And now she wants to put on display my worst team, her running her mouth. You know why? Because it's what you give. You know why she can't hear you in the words you're speaking right now? It's because of what you give. Okay? She can't give, she can't give what you want her to give right now in front of the camera because you saying she's so pretty and that you love her. Okay? Because she 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 sees and she knows and she has heard different. Okay? It's only when it's rehearsed. Okay, when you wanted her to come on here and answer the short, where she couldn't understand the question. But we are happy. But what's the ending? Because I would say, we are happy, but. Okay, just saying. Because as Hayward said, she tells him everything. Okay, he already knows about what takes place. Okay, do you see the videos of how she talked to Leah and what she do? Oh, Leah tells me everything. I already know. I don't play about my children or his kids, whatever he said. But guess what? He's not running. He's not trying to save nobody. He's over there doing his damn thing. So she tell me everything. But guess what? I'm not really listening. Because if I was listening and taking it in, I would respond and react to it. Okay? So who's she playing with her? That's what I would say. Nigga, stop back, okay? I'll go back to the last live, okay? My last video that I talked about of her being live, talking about uh, hoes on her is jealous of her and talking about she can she can buy a house right now and funner, put furniture throughout the whole thing, okay? She also said that she is not broke. She has money. She, she want to buy furniture. She can, but she choose not to because she's always moving, basically, right? 
this is what she said but she come back in this video ordering for her kids and she is complaining she is complaining that they ordered over five dollars and it's 30 some dollars and she probably gonna have to overdraft and you would say well damn if you not broken you got enough money you got enough money to furnish your house your whole house okay as you would say why is you complaining about spending 30 some dollars on food for everybody so they can eat properly and not just nibble and still be fucking hungry. I'm saying somebody that has enough money and is not broke, I won't complain about it's only five dollars. I won't complain. Y'all, y'all came here, y'all didn't know what y'all ordered, and y'all went way over than what y'all supposed to spend. Here we go, blaming somebody else. Okay, this is what she do. She blame the kids. She blame the she she's she's putting it on the devil. She's blaming the reactors. She's blaming Riddick. She's blaming the negative comments. She's blaming everybody except for herself. Okay, except for herself, she will not blame herself in no situation and say, "Hey, it's just me." Okay, well, I should have ordered properly to know what y'all really wanted. No, she's blaming the kids. And then that's where she double back and say, that's why I, I don't bring y'all with me. Really? Like, really? Okay? You supposed to be bringing us out because we cleaned up. But you turn around since it's over $5 and you mixed up on what the fuck you ordering. Okay? And with your add-ons. Now, that's why I don't bring y'all with me. Y'all don't know how to order. Look how y'all order. Y'all got me spending too much. But then I turned around and said, well, I did order for Kira and Lena and them. I mean, but you just said you're not broke, right? Okay. If you're not broke, okay, and you holding on the coins right now, coins for your fucking deposits and application fees, okay, and coins for if you want to, if you want to put furniture within your place, why are we complaining about this little bitty ass, cheap ass money at family? Then why are we complaining about this little bitty cheap ass money for McDonald's? I would say, okay? Allow them to enjoy whatever it is y'all are enjoying right now. Okay? That's what I would say. <laughs> it's always got to be a money problem. But boy, okay? Let one of us jealous hoes say something. She going to let everybody know I ain't broke. But when you pull up to Mickey D's, you tell everybody exactly what we say all the fucking time. You need a job. You need some real coins. You need coins so you can actually provide and take care of your kids. Moving along, okay? Scam for the week, okay? It's coming, y'all. She already started on Facebook talking about the devil is busy, okay? Now I'm having car problems. Car maintenance. If it ain't one thing, it's another. If it look like everything is going smooth, then look what we have. Then that's where I say, what you mean if it ain't one thing, it's another? Can't shit be going smooth right now when you on a countdown? When you on a countdown to get your ass out of somebody else's shit? Can't nothing be going smooth right now when you don't have a place to stay yet? Or do you? Okay, so then I want to jump back to that. It was a lot of comments saying... Oh, I feel like Nika is playing. She is playing and trying to throw us off of what place she going to get. Maybe she already have that place, but she's coming back to say that she don't want it to kind of throw everybody off. So you wouldn't know her location because first the place is on the market and now the place is off the market. What's really going on here? She playing fucking games. She playing games probably within this uh little shack that she's staying in right now. I would totally agree that she probably don't even have to move. She probably don't even got to go no damn world. But at the end of the day, now that they know my location, I'm finna try to run. But in real reality, I'm probably not running. No fucking word. Just running my damn mouth as she always do. And that shit just can't keep up. It can't keep up. So then that's where I think that's taking place because how's you out and you spending coins at... Uh, Family Dollar, Dollar General, whatever dollar store, Dollar Tree. You at McDonald's spending money, but don't you need these coins for your application fees and deposits? Because you just said application fees is real pricey. I mean, you got application fees, you got you how Oh, okay. I guess the YouTube check gonna get it, y'all. So, 
We'll see if she going to come on with handouts. But as I said, NASCAR problem. That's the scam for this week, y'all. She going to say something about this car. And then you say, oh, it, it's the devil is always busy. Maybe it's you always being busy. I'm just saying, get your fucking oil leak fixed. Why you keep wanting to ride around and keep going to these different dollar stores, getting this cheap ass oil, putting it in there, and you ain't doing shit but running out? Then you will also say, take accountability. Maybe it's you running that car down into the fucking ground because all you do is riding that hoe. So then that's where I say accountability. Can you take accountability for your actions and the things that you mess up on and the things that you are not taking care of, the things that you need? Because then you say, if this car actually break down, what you going to do? What you going to do? You going to go fishing for the SUV, for the uh, little Tahoe, little Suburban? Where is that hoe? I guess it's still parked at Grandma's house. Is you going to go fishing for that? I'm just saying. If I was you, I would handle everything. My 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 plate ain't smooth right now because it's a lot of shit that's taking place. And with a lot of things that's taking place, it's a lot of things that's being added on within it. I'm just saying. Sometimes you got to look at yourself to say, is it me? Okay. Are all these problems popping up because of me and what I'm giving? It is. Okay. Right on down to your comment section. Right on down to everybody. That come on here and put a video up about you. Okay, it, it boils right on down to you. But then I would say you better take care of that car. Cause at the end, that's all that's all you got. Okay, that's all you got. You ain't you ain't even got home. Okay, we're home at right now. Cause as you said, 26, I mean, that's just right around the corner. It'll be time for you to go. At Dollar Tree shopping around. She wanted to make the comment, or I would say the statement of Nobody is in here stealing, okay? Y'all always saying, I'm stealing from Walmart. I'm stealing from here. There's no need for me to steal. Then you would say, well, shit, why was you stealing? It, it, you're right. It's no need for you to steal when you out here and you spending food stamps, okay? Not your coins, but food stamps, and you still going in Walmart stealing. And then you say, she's trying to address us, okay, about the lies, the lies that we tell with, with a lie, okay? Nobody is lying. It's proof at her that that you actually be stealing in Walmart. Okay, she actually got Papa holding the camera. Can somebody pass him some tissue, please? I mean, he's just snorting the whole time. Just blow your nose already. Do you not have tissue or what's the case? And you would think Nika would say, hey, do you need a box of Kleenex? Do you need... That's all he was getting within the video is hearing him snort. Snort. Now go back to the laundromat video. I'm going to put a clip right up in here. Something about Papa is just weird and strange to me. I don't know. If you look the way he was looking at Aisha, okay? I'm just saying. Look pretty strange and weird to me. Then that's where I say, y'all look at it. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about it, okay? I also read the comments of a lot of y'all in my video where I talked about allegedly where they were saying Aisha, Aisha being 10 years old and still wetting the bed or basically pinning on himself at this age. For me, I took it as, oh, okay, well, she's always serving them soda and juices. Maybe it's too much, okay? That's what I said. But a lot of y'all came back with a lot of more feedback that opened my eyes to a lot of things. This is actually taking place there are different reasons of why and the reasons of why are not good reasons why you understand then you say what is taking place within the background what has he been through what is taking place right now i don't know okay because then that's where i say i'm still trying to figure out this situation with sasa of why she continued to go to sleep and she has no diaper on I'm not understanding it. I'm not getting it. Is you trying to reserve diapers or is she battling another diaper rash? Somebody got to make sense of it. Then that's where I say, where you got the kids on her answering uh, comments from grown ass people, you should be as an adult and come on here and address that. And I will also talk where someone said, yes, Nika is in a struggling situation and basically I would say kind of like okaying, okaying because she's in a struggling situation. So it's okay. It's okay that she come on here and lie to her bookies trying to grab coins. 
No, that's not acceptable. It is not okay. It is nobody else's responsibility to take care of her and her kids. People have done this for so long, okay? So long to why she feel like this is what they supposed to do. And that's why she goes over there on TikTok and she gives the little sob stories of her needing help and all this stuff so they continue to give. You understand? Then that's where I say like manipulating the people, using the people, as y'all would call it, she's panhandling straight in the YouTube streets. But then she come on YouTube side and she gives totally different. Give totally different, but still trying to beg in a different way. Then I say fucking dry begging. Want everybody to pay for her way through her life. And then that's, that's just not it. So then that's where I say, as being a grown woman saying, well, it is, it's, it's, it's okay because she is in a struggle and it's okay. It's not, it's not okay. Because then where you having all those kids, that's where you say, let me do something about it. Why do I have to keep going to other adults to provide for me and mine when I'm, I'm, I'm able and I'm willing to do it. Okay. So then that's where I say a lot of y'all just fall for the nonsense and y'all condone this bullshit. Y'all condone it and then that's where you are considered as an enabler. An enabler into her living situation. An enabler into all the habits that she battle and dealing with. An enabler to why she can't get she can't get ahead and do better. Okay? Because if you stop enabling her ass, maybe she can see hey, I got to do something and I can't fall back. I can't fall back on nobody. Okay, I got to get my ass out here. That's what I would say. Also bringing up the Naya, Naya situation about her and her job and the hours. A lot of y'all were saying that y'all feel like Nika doesn't want Naya to work. Uh, and she, she wants her to basically be like her. Okay, not get ahead. But for me, within this situation, I took it as complaining about the hours because you say, if Nika is really trying to move within this situation and she has to move, she has to rely on somebody to make shit happen. And it's definitely not her because as she speak all the time, YouTube don't pay enough, this and that. Well, can't be because you always begging or then I would say scamming the people because you want their coins to add up with the rest of your coins and make it seem like you have a whole lot. But I think she want Naya to work, okay? Now you gotta be bringing something in because that'll help her situation to why she don't have to do too much as what she doing right now. But giving Naya the freedom, she ain't gonna give her that, okay? She not gonna give Naya that because she don't want Naya to know better, know better to want better to actually break away from her dusty ass. That's what I would say. But back on to the kids, I don't think it's okay or appropriate to be putting these kids within these situations of your comments or coming on here trying to prove, and I will continue to say prove, that you are doing the right thing and they love the situation that they are in. These kids don't love the situation that they are in, but the small ones may not understand. But as they get older, okay, they will know and see that this is not the life. This is not the life as you try to give them like it's the norm and it's okay. It's not the norm and okay to be in a one bedroom with a family of 11. You understand? It's not okay to where they can't never have nothing nice. And if I do go out, I got to get them something from goodwill, but I buy differently for myself. Also, if you heard her in a video talking about where Papa said that she had had a lot of clothes when they was at the laundromat folding clothes. And she said, well, when my bingo winnings, my bingo winnings, when I get my bingo winnings, she go out and she splurge on herself, but not thinking about her children. But then she'll come back to social media and try to make it seem like it's all about my kids. Then you say, if it's all about your kids, why did you take your old stale ass hair and allow Naya to put it in? uh Leah's hair. I mean, I don't feel that that's okay. Why she couldn't get fresh hair and have a whole fresh do? It's the certain things that Nika give when she give it. It's the way that she look. It's the way that she speak. Okay, and and I would say these kids know. They know better. Aisha knows better. Leah especially, she knows better. Okay, and when Leah is not giving what Nika wants. Oh, she run her mouth too much. Oh, this teen here. Oh, she's this, she's that. 
always running her mouth. But then you say, what do you give on the other hand? Why do she run her mouth? Why do she ignore the things that she say or act like she don't fucking hear you? Why do she do that? She do it all for a fucking reason. To talk about the short with Isaiah. Y'all saying Isaiah was really boohooing about a folder. Okay? Nika said she was sitting there putting edits in a video and, oh, he's crying about a folder. How's this entertaining? Okay? How's this entertainment? How's this entertaining? Why would you record this as a as a short? I would take it as this is somebody that don't have much. Okay? Have you ever been in a household and you don't have much? And the little things that you do like, you hold on to them. You cherish them. So for his folder, it could be his favorite folder. It could be something that he actually has and I actually like, okay? But when it all boils down, this thing that I cherish the most, and then you say, it's just a folder. But to him, it's not just a folder. It's not just a folder where I can get another one, okay? This folder means something to me because I am a kid, and guess what? What do I have for myself? Then I say, what does what do those kids have for themselves? They don't have absolutely nothing. Clothes. They don't even have that shit for themselves. They have to share every fucking thing. If they not sharing it, guess what they doing? They losing it. Okay? If they losing it, it's getting taken away. Okay? If it's not getting taken away, it's getting sold. So at least something that I do have that I can call mine and I like, guess what it is? My folder, okay? Y'all remember when it was another short where she was recording him and he was crying. His jacket. This is a kid that don't have much, okay? Sometimes I don't even eat the things I like. And he, is, he expresses himself. So the little small things he hold on to and he cherish them, okay? That's what I get from it. He thought he lost his jacket. He didn't have his jacket. Everything that's his, he wanted to be his and he wanted to be good and up to standards. Okay? Then that's where he say this little small boy, he's young in age, but I see potential. Potential through everything that he gives, even the way that he speak. Okay? Then that's where you would say he's set apart. He's set apart from the rest. Okay? At a very young age. And also, with him being at a young age, it will be Nico's battle, okay? Battle when he get older, okay? You see how he talking, how he come right back at her. She wanted him to put clothes on, okay? What clothes do I put on? The bag, the clothes, what color? I mean, when you have a kid that age, and he wants you to explain it properly so he know what to grab, what it look like, and what I'm getting, but my breeder don't care. She too busy into this live. She too busy into everything. Instead of giving me the proper information, the proper information so I can go about it correctly to make sure I get what I need. Okay? A lot of these kids' personalities she ain't ready for. She can't handle because she's still that child her fucking self. Her, she's still that child herself and that's what she show us each and every day. But boy, did she fall to the fucking bottom when she started reading the comments for the kids to answer. I'm surprised you didn't get on here and say, why y'all don't take a bath? Why y'all, why y'all, why y'all hygiene ain't up to par? Can you answer that? At some point, somebody got to be the adult and grow the fuck up. Okay? You can't treat these kids any kind of way behind closed doors and off the camera and think just because you have the camera on and I feel like I'm saying something good that it's accepting. Okay? That it's accepting for what I give. Leah heard nothing. That's why she came back and said, huh? She's not accepting of what you give. Okay, just give me my honey mustard and my food. I don't need you to tell me I'm pretty and 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 I love you and 
I tell you that all the time because you're a liar. You don't tell me that all the time. I never hear it. I only hear it when you have the camera on because you are saying it for the other people, the other people that's on the side of the camera. Just like you have us coming on answering the comments, it's because of the other people on the other side of the camera. Okay? Continue to try to prove. Prove us right every time. I would say, shades on, shades off. We still see fake is as fake was, as fake does, as what she give us each and every day within a video, okay? Take care of your kids. Stop playing with their mental and emotions like that. It's not okay. And I'm standing here just to say it within myself and to everybody. It is not okay. When you have an adult that's addressing you as being the adult and the parent within the situation, you hold that shit and that shit is for you. You don't, you don't hand it over, okay, to someone that is underage to allow them to handle the situation for you or address the situation for you. It's a whole problem, okay? Everything nigga gives is a problem. And to y'all enablers of what she give, just remember, she will forever be in the position that she is in because of y'all. Doing that as being a fucking bookie, I would say. She address her with the real so she can recognize what it really is. And it ain't just the negative comments and the reactors and everybody else. Hell no, it's you. Everything about you, your mouth, it's you. Y'all y'all seen her try to eat a Mr. Good Boy with them dentures. <laughs> Stop trying to prove us with them fucking dentures. I'm just saying, you can't take a bite. You can't you can't use them properly, talking about mouth still so really. I would say, anyways, y'all. See y'all in the next reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I do ask that you do 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 do, do subscribe. But y'all already know everything that is slide like give ain't like nothing for us. But what I do ask you to do is drop y'all comments down below. Let me know what you think about this whole sit yo sit yo. What do y'all think about her asking Aisha about his hair? And knowing damn well you got multiple kids. And yes, you are not out here combing they her like you should. Kaya her been like that since the Golden Corral video. And not only Kaya, but uh, Kira and Lena. You have not got up to do absolutely nothing. And let me talk about Sasa. Woo, that's the baby. You should be calling her her each and every day. Because you ain't got nothing but fucking time. When you could tie that scarf on, you can calm them girls her. That's what I would say. Anyways, y'all see y'all in the next reaction video. Peace.